Hey guys, this is Miss Sides, and we're back in the classroom again. I love being here at the school, and I miss you guys being here at the school. Um, I'm going to try to make this lesson very um, easy for your children to do with me. So if you'll have them get out a piece of paper and eight counting objects. This, you can go outside and find rocks. You can go outside and find acorns. You can do pennies. You can even do Q-tips. And I've even seen one with a sheet of toilet paper. Eight little squares of toilet paper. That's hilarious. So with this one, just put at the top ways to make eight. And you're going to put all of your pumpkins to the right. Well, for instance, I'm doing pumpkins today because I thought it would be interesting for the kids. So you've got eight pumpkins and put them all to the right side of the paper. Silly, bring at the bottom so we can figure out all the ways to make eight. So for right now, since we've got all to the right side of the paper, let's make sure they're eight first. We've got to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Miss Dodds, you have eight. So I'm going to move one by one. And so that helps you see the addition problem. So how many do I have right here? Zero, because all eight are on the right side of the paper. So zero plus eight equals eight. Okay. So now I'm going to move one over. I'm going to move one all the way over to the left. This reminds me of that Five Little Pumpkins song. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> but the one pumpkin is over here. But how many do I have over here? Do I still have eight pumpkins on my paper? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I still have eight. I'm not taking away any, and I'm not adding any more. So everything shows ways to make eight. So this represents, we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now. So this represents what addition problem? How many are on this side? One. So we got to make an addition problem, so it's plus. Now, how many are on this side? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one plus seven equals eight. So write that one down. Make sure you write these down as you go along with me. All right. Take your next objects, or my objects are pumpkins. So move this one over. Was this addition sentence, do we still have eight pumpkins? Did I take any away? No, I'm just rearranging them to show different ways to make eight. So there are how many pumpkins on this side? One, two. So this is two plus, I did not do a crazy two. A lot of my kids say, Miss Sides, you did a crazy two. So I'm getting better. All right, so I have two plus one, two, three, four, five, six. So remember, don't count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's counting how many are in all. We're counting how many are on the left side, which are two, or on this side of the paper, two. Then we're gonna count how many are on this side. So let's count again. So we start at one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two plus six equals eight. Okay, move one more over. We still have eight. So we've got one, two, three on this side. So three plus one, two, three, four, Three plus five equals eight as well. So now, 
So we've written it down. Move another item over. How many do I have on this side? One, two, three, four. I'm guessing by the look of this, we have the same amount on each side. So if there's four on this side, let's see how many are on this side. One, two, three, four. Four plus four equals eight. Okay, move another one over. How many pumpkins? One, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three equals eight. Okay, move it over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus, let's look right here. We can use this as a cheat sheet. Because there's six, so six plus what equals eight? Six plus one, two. So we were correct on that one. Move one more over. Do you see one with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? We just gotta flip it around. Remember, we're just flipping them. Instead of one plus seven, it's gonna be seven plus one equals eight. Now, my last one is being moved over. So how many do I have in all? Do I have to count all of these again? No, because I know I have eight pumpkins. So eight plus what equals eight? We already have eight, so that must be zero. Eight plus zero equals eight. All right, so let's review. We've got zero plus eight equals eight. One plus seven equals eight. Do you notice something? Do you remember when we were moving them over? This side was getting bigger, correct? So watch, one, two, three, we added one each time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this side was losing one every time because it was going to the left side of the paper, so it's going down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Zero. All right, stay tuned for ways to make nine.